What's up everybody, Mr. OG Games here. Big shout outs to Garrett Motes, Kim Kippo, Farty Tardy 4567, and Excited Night. Thank you all so much for sharing your comments and supporting the channel. And today, I want to discuss something that for the longest time, until I received this account, I really hadn't gotten into, but I wanted to show the importance of it, especially in the early games that will also carry you through the later part of the game. And what would that be? Well, that would be auto attack. Now, unfortunately, auto attack is something that is not free. You can't use gems to get it. It's something that you do have to purchase. But it's worth it. It's worth it. I'll, I've never really been one to spend much in the game. But if I were to put down a list of my top three things that I would spend on in the game, auto attack would be one of them. Why is it so important? Auto attack, and we'll take a look here real quick. Bottom left hand corner, when you go to set and search and kill your monsters, auto attack will send out attack after attack on monsters that you've chosen by level. You can set how many march cues you have you can then adjust those marshes to send whatever type of troops you want. And then of course you can set the time, the radius and so on away from your castle. And then of course you can load it with stamina and simply hit the start button. Why is this important? Well, XP is key to this game. It's key. XP as you know, is what raises your lord level and then of course from your lord levels you can get lord skills and so on that is a big big key to the game especially in the early start of the game it's gonna just xp in general is gonna bring you up and give you those lord levels so it's pretty simple to use. It's one click and you, and you just kind of walk away from it. Set it and forget it. Now, until you have your marches dialed in, the biggest factor that you'll have to watch out for is your heal time. So, I know on this account that I can hit anywhere from 15 to 20 monsters and have roughly about a 25 minute heal time, which in an active alliance with the help, you can, you can get those blasted out in mere seconds to a minute. They'll be gone, you're right back at it. The biggest key is you've got to keep up with your potions, whether it be 20 or 50 potion stamina, they're gonna come in big time. Uh, this is also gonna help with the monster event because you can set your phone down you can let it generate for you so it's not a constant click find let's see if they have their choose your you know choose your march it's set it and forget it the biggest thing is the XP so if I would have started this in previous accounts my lord level would have been much much higher not to mention the things that you get when attacking monsters and you know you can get drops for materials you can get small resource uh, packs you can get any current event that you're doing you'll also get drops say for instance right now the orc valley you can get little coins from monsters okay there's plenty of things that you can receive even sometimes you can get small amounts of gems 
it's it's just worth it. Uh, $4.99 here in the U.S. is what it costs for a week. Back when it first came out, I never did it. Five bucks, I put it towards another pack or constantly hit monsters on my own. But honestly, when you're, when you're doing other things in the game, you don't need to worry about it. That's why I feel that it's important. Uh, the biggest takeaway from this would be the XP. That's the biggest takeaway from me anyway. And if you put your beast in one of your march cues, you can also bring up your march, or your march, you can bring up your beast XP as well, because we know that goes a long way also. So just to show you guys that don't have auto attack on, we'll go ahead and fire it up here in a second. But also, one thing I like to pair it with, and especially pairing it with this item during uh, events, monster hitting events, you have your hunting expedition. Now, before to get these expeditions, you'd either have to, I think, get them by using gems uh, or, you know, packs that you would buy. Now, you can actually get them in your merchant ship when they offer extensive trades, which I thought was pretty cool as well because it, it helps pick up a lot of things like potions, hunting expedition stuff. Before this, you would always have to use gems to get it or get it in packs. So they've brought that to make it a little more obtainable uh, to us that don't spend a whole lot of money. Uh, but right now, uh, it's going to increase the base movement speed 100% for two hours. Uh, and then I do have one that has 200% for one hour. Um, so we'll go ahead and activate one of those as well, just to kind of see how much we can pump out at one time. Auto attack. Right now I'm hitting 26 to 27s. Not so much because that's all I can hit, because obviously I can hit 30s. But 26... 27s they are still going to drop scroll frags for the azurite they're also going to be a lot more abundant on the map so you can hit many many more in a short period of time which will also give you the xp as well yes it's lower than the 30 but if i'm able to hit four or five in the time that it would take me to send one march to a 30 because they're normally parked in the mud i've got the advantage so we'll just make sure we we'll just keep six in it for right now. We'll keep you know five in that for right now. I've already got everything set up, and then you simply hit auto attack. And that's it. Once you've got everything going, you sort of go about your, your business, whether it be <laughs> whatever you got going on. Periodically I'll come back to it, check my reports check my wounded and heal accordingly all while this thing is just constantly going on for you building up the XP and getting all the drops and the little things that you might take for granted so for example there's some food there's some iron there's a coin as you can see for today I've already got 21 frags out of 50 available uh, so it's just a constant it's it's just a constant win you're just winning you're winning that's the game build up the xp win the little coins win the fragments win this win that and ultimately it all adds up and uh, for a small price you have it for a week you can do it unlimited round the clock as long as you have the stamina and that's just going to help build you up that much stronger to keep you in the mix with the xp XP is the biggest thing in my book. With auto, I can probably hit every bit of 50 to 70 monsters easily a day. And that's mainly because of the timing that I get to get on. I'll start up auto, do what I have to do, set the phone down, get some work done. And it's generating XP for me without me doing really much of anything. Uh, 
that's the major key is the XP uh, I get a lot of questions about what can you do in the early game to get a jump on everybody else and XP is one of those generate the XP generate the Lord uh, levels which give you the Lord skill points to pump it up and that little bit of difference in the early game will take you a long ways not to mention all of the resources that you can just save up and save up and save up it helps out when you need that little bit more to uh, to gain in a, in a building or to you know to do a troop trip whatever you can dig into your pack and get that back as a benefit for yourself so in the time that I've been running my mouth, you can see I've already hit five. I mean, don't even have to click anything. I sit here and run my mouth and I've already hit five monsters and I've already gained that XP. That's my biggest achievement with this is the XP. It's what carries most of us through the game and getting those Lord skills. And I'm also building up many other things along the way. So, this is the first time that I've actually supported spending because I think it is a crucial part of the game, especially early on, and you'll find that it'll benefit you a whole, whole lot. But, you know the drill. If y'all like the video, smash the thumbs up button, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, y'all keep gaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Look at them little guys go.